Before watching this video, please subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any of the life saving health knowledge and information in coming days. Marijuana, also commonly called weed, is a topic of interest in the youths, while in the adults, it is a topic of serious concern. The drug that was kept under the group Schedule 1 since 1970, which means its sales or even its use, is deemed illegal with recent research and findings are being legalized in different states of US and many other countries around the globe. Likewise, the topic about legalization of marijuana has also been under serious discussions recently in Nepalese society. While we have heard a lot of advocations about the medicinal benefits of marijuana, in this video, we will solely talk about what impact does the marijuana creates on your mind and is recreational use of marijuana worth it or not. First of all, let's talk about cannabinoid system. There is a complicated system known as the cannabinoid system in our mind and our body synthesizes something called as endocannabinoid to work on this system, whose main function is to maintain the homeostasis of our body or in simple terms to maintain the constant internal environment of our body. Now, people might be confused thinking if our body itself synthesizes substance resembling marijuana then what's the harm in using it? But that's not the case. There is a huge difference between endocannabinoids in our body and the cannabinoids present in marijuana. Our body synthesizes endocannabinoid only when there is an unexpected change in our body's internal environment to restore that change and to bring the body back to normal state. But the cannabinoids in marijuana can act itself even when our body is normal. That means it will try to change the state and internal environment of our mind and body even when there is no need for it. And in this way, it can cause serious effects on our mind, leading to some mental illness like depression, anxiety, loss in memory capacity, and your decision-taking skills. With this, it also causes hallucinations and increases its dependence over the marijuana users. Now, let's talk about the people who are at risk. The way marijuana affects the mind and body of a person is, however, usually dependent on the age chemical nature of the brain, genetics, and also on the past events of the person. So it can be said that the effects of marijuana differ from person to person. But there are certain things that can help us to generalize which kind of people are more vulnerable towards the effect of marijuana. The first one is the age of the person. In people younger than 25, the cannabinoid system is more focused and centralized towards a specific region in the brain. That is why such people's mental health is found to be at more risk. As the age increases, the cannabinoid system gets more decentralized and more distributed in many small areas of the brain and hence the effect also gets minimized. The next thing is, as marijuana can cause hallucination, the patients of mental illness, specifically the patients of schizophrenia are more bound to be in the risk of marijuana's harmful effects. Now the question arises, is marijuana really harmful? Though it does not cause the death of a person, Though it has been found to have some amazing benefits in medical science, but all these medical benefits are due to a substance called CBD, cannabidiol, present in medicinal marijuana. So just looking at the benefits of cannabidiol present in medicinal marijuana, how can the legalization of recreational marijuana be justified? How can we forget about the THC, tetrahydrocannabidiol, that is present in very high amount in recreational marijuana and causes all the above mentioned harmful effects? If we can enjoy the life with our marijuana, why to take a headache about it? So anywhere, if you come across a debate about the use of recreational marijuana, stand firmly on your views and oppose it. Thank you and keep on watching Swasthya Sansar.